Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me. I have a really easy 6x6 six six project and all you need is two 6x6 uh, six six papers to create this really simple, easy fold mini ephemera holder with a, a tag, uh, with a pocket for your tag. Uh, it's just such a cute little... Uh, packaging idea as well great little flat mail for a happy mail or if you just want to store some of your little bits and pieces in one of these little pockets um, it's perfect for that as well uh, just so cute and I'm going to show you how easy it is um, you can make one of these uh, let me show you um, what it looks like and then I'm going to go ahead and um, make these and show you um, how to put one together uh, so over here I've just added a little wood peg just to hold the little um, closure together I did just some simple embellishing and then over here is the side pocket for your little tag and it's a great uh, spot if you want to just write a little message if you're gifting one of these to uh, one of your crafty friends or uh, you could gift one of these for a teacher you can make a whole uh, bunch of these and package them for craft fairs uh, so then it opens up like that and then over here is our little side tuck pocket where I've put in here some die cuts. Just um, just a few, just so you could see uh, the little side pocket here. It's just so cute. And then up here is a little um, another little pocket for some smaller packaged uh, goodies. If you have some small packaged uh, pieces, like uh, some small embellishing, some little uh, clusters. I've got here... Uh, these uh, paper layered flower shapes I have some of these in my shop I think and it just fits perfectly in a little seal bag and then you can just pop it inside the pocket you can even add some tags uh, postage stamps some little package uh, sequence um, so that's a pocket I just think this is a, such a cute little uh, pocket idea and then it just closes up like that and then this one here is the same. I've just decorated a little bit differently and I've got here some twine wrapped around one of my embellishments. So I've just wrap that around. And you can do whatever you like for your closure. There is one of these embellishments where I've done a video um, where you can make these using your paper scraps and just your uh, supplies that you have around in your craft space. Really easy. Over here is that little spot for your tag, a little pocket. Um, you can even add some uh, paper strips in here and just uh, add a few paper strips and then tuck them in here if you wanted to gift some little uh, papers. And then it opens up the same way. Um, there's your little side tuck pocket here. Um, again, some more ephemera pieces. Just really cute. And up here is a top pocket again. I've got in here a little die cut oh yes i've got this long uh, piece of ephemera i wanted to see if that would fit in here and it just fits nicely on an angle and then i just wanted to just also check i've got a little tea bag sachet which i think might fit in here i'm actually still not sure if that'll fit it might just oh, i just fits in there and um, so it does fit you might just need to do some slight uh, adjusting with the measurements uh, not 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 much uh, especially for the closure and for the width if you wanted to add a uh, tack uh, a tea bag sachet in here so it will fit you just need to just slightly widen this up and then with your closure you just uh, fold it a little bit um, enough just so that you could actually close it to put that in there and um, that's easily done as well if you wanted to do that so I'm going to show you how to make um, a, a two of these you can just make the one uh, with one piece of six by six paper the only difference is you'll use that whole paper to create the the backing part with the pocket as well as your pocket so if you don't mind having the same a uh, pattern you can do that with just one six by six but I wanted to uh, do two different papers uh, for the pocket so I used I used two six by six so that part and that part and that one and that one was um, from uh, six by six paper so I'm going to do uh, one uh, but um, I will use the two pieces of six by six paper just so you could see um, how to uh, make it I'll just put this to the side 
So I've got here uh, two pieces of six by six papers. And then you're just wanting to cut the paper. I'm just trying to find my little trimmer. Which I might just grab it over here. So the first thing you want to do with your papers, you want to cut them both in half at three inches. So you'll have two pieces at three inches by six inches. So I'll cut that first. So, so I've got my two pieces there. And you're probably best to use a pattern paper that has no direction for this uh, project. It will just make it easier for you when you make your folds. So I have here uh, four pieces now. So these two will be together and then I've got another set here. So you can make two, um, one for yourself and one to gift or if you are in a swap group and you're in a swap group of two or more people, you can make um, a few of these for each of your swap um, uh, swap partners in the group. So I'm gonna just bring my uh, scoreboard. I'm going to, this. Um, it doesn't really matter because I'm going to use um, either one. So you just uh, decide if you're going to make just the one. If you're going to just make the one, just decide which one you want for your pocket and then which one for your backing. I'll use the floral paper for the pocket and then this one I'll use for my backing. So what we'll do first, we'll make the little side pocket first. So to do that, I'm going to line my paper on the six inch side. I'll just grab the school tool. And then we are going to score at one and a half inches. And four and one eighth of an inch. So four and one eighth of an inch is the little mark just after the four inch mark. Oops, come down here a bit more. So it was one and a half inches and four and one eighth of an inch. And then we're going to turn it around. So if it's non-directional paper, it doesn't matter which side. Uh, so three inches, you want to line that on that side. And we're going to score at three eighth of an inch. And that's that little mark just here, past the quarter of an inch mark. Go at a three eighth of an inch. Just come down a bit so you can see. Okay, so that's the scoring for that. I'll just move that to the side for now. And what we're going to do here, we are going to remove this middle piece. So the first thing we want to do is we just want to cut up on that side and cut up on this side and then we're going to cut along there and remove that piece and then we'll go ahead and just angle cut um, on one side and the same on this side We're just going to bring this side and we're going to bring this in and fold it over. And then we'll bring this side and we'll fold that part in. And then we'll turn this to the back and then you've got this part, we'll fold that up. And then we'll fold this side up as well. And then that will give you your pocket and that side pocket with the top pocket. And what we'll do now, we'll just adhere everything together so the pocket is all closed up. I'm just going to open this up. I'll put some glue just along that bottom part. I'm not too sure if you can hear any noise in the background. If you do, that's um, uh, my daughters are watching Harry Potter. So I've got the door closed, but you might still be able to hear some slight noise in the background. So I'm just going to fold that over. And then I'll add a bit more glue here. And then fold that up. And that will close the bottom part now. And now you've got this part here. We're just going to put a little bit of glue just on the inside here up to the edge here. So just sort of 
just work out where the edge is. So I'm just going to stop there. Now I'm going to glue that and press that down up here. That will give me that side pocket. And then I've got the top pocket. So we've done the pocket. Now we'll grab the uh, backing piece that's going to hold the pocket in place and give you a pocket tag. So the first thing we're going to do, you want to also grab um, some double-sided tape. This one I have here is a half an inch wide. And I thought that's a perfect um, size for this project. So the part that's smooth and where we put the closure, we're going to just place that in the middle. And then pull the backing off. You can use normal glue if you want. All right, so we've got that. Just move that over. So now you're going to have the backing piece with the print facing up. You're going to line this fold with the side pocket in the front. And I'm just going to sort of center it around the three sides, about a quarter of an inch in. So about that far in, that's fine. And I'm just going to do another score line. If you don't want to use a scoreboard, you don't have to. You can just fold this over if you wanted to. But just allow a little bit of a space between the edge and your fold line. So if, roughly about up here, if you want to create a fold, just about here. Just gives you room and a bit of height if you have something a little bit higher than the height, the depth of the pocket. But I'm going to line this on the six inch side and score at three and a quarter inches. So that is where I've got the score line. And I'm just going to fold this towards me like that. And then I'm going to bring this piece up and bring that up to that fold line. And I'll just press that down. So now you have that piece like that. I'm going to just use my a uh, half, uh, sorry, my one inch circle punch. You can use any circle punch, or you don't have to if you don't have one. I'm just going to create a thumb notch on the uh, front side. Uh, sorry, on this side here. And that way you're not wasting any of your papers. So I've done that. So that's going to get placed there. I'm just going to open this up, and I'm going to glue there and over here just a little thin uh, bead of glue so I'm just going to turn it back around this way now and I'm just going to bring that up and press along the edge And that will give me a side tuck pocket for my tag and I'm just going to see and then I've got a little strip of paper uh, I cut this at three inches by about one and one eighth of an inch so it's just a little bit um, past an inch wide so it just depends on how much glue you adhere to your um, for your pocket that will decide how much room you have to add your tag in there so just play around with the strip of paper so that it will fit inside there for you so that's where i've got mine and i'm just going to angle cut the corners just do it like that for now and i'll just place that back in there and there is my cute little ephemera pocket with a pocket for a tag it's really cute and so easy now if you wanted to make it to fit um, one of these little uh, tea bag let me just I might just grab I might do another one just in case you wanted to make it a little bit wider I haven't made the measurements I'm just doing this now just so I could see so the um, the original measurements was one and a quarter sorry one and a half i'm just going to go in a little bit 
I'm just going to go in at about, I could probably, I'm just going to go in uh, one eighth of an inch. So I'm just going to go in that little uh, mark there, which is just one before the original mark we made. And then I'm going to continue and same with four and one eighth on this side. I'm just going to hope that should fit. That should fit in there now. And I'll just turn this over three eighth of an inch. I'm just going to see if that will fit that measurement that I had. Just going to quickly do that. So you can still fit something a little bit wider if you wanted to. will fit and you still got that tuck spot there as well so there's still a little bit of space see there's not much space there but it will still give you a tuck pocket let me just see if that will fit oh that fits perfectly and then you've got that still that side pocket there now with the uh, backing paper let's just glue this in so wrong side. Let's try that side. You're going to make the fold for your closure um, a little bit higher than the first one we've done. So let me just, I might even go down a little bit here just so I have a little bit of extra space up there. Then I'll put this inside. This will help me guide where I need to make the fold. Just put that in there. I might just fold it just a little bit above there. Let's go down this way. So I might go to the back first, just so I, it's easier. So I might just go there. Then I'll bring it forward. And then I'll fold this up. So you might still be able to fit a slightly slimmer tag, but that still fits perfectly in there. That's pretty good. So that's all you have to do. And then you just punch your hole to create your tag pocket and really cute. So it does uh, fit that in there. So I hope you enjoyed this really simple, cute, easy fold, um, ephemera folder using a six by six paper. Hope you give this a go and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye for now.